It's a cold rainy day, so there's not a lot else we can do on a cold rainy day. But we can start seeds inside. Put them under the on the heat pads. Well, yeah, outside in the shop. We're doing something. Go get some soil. Leave your wife to your Let's get one of these. We're only gonna do one tray. We might do two trays. We'll see how many we get. All right, and we'll do a solid one and a perforated one. These are from True Leaf Market. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right to you, huh? That's actually close to my house. Uh, no, it's actually not close to your house. Actually, today's seeds. These are from. Uh, it says Mountain Valley Seed Company, but we bought them through. Um, we bought them through Truly. They've been really good to us. Uh, U Onion, Utah, yellow, sweet. <laughs> Spanish. I'm okay. Yeah, you're okay. Uh, and we planted some last year. Um, we had some pretty terrible, some soggy ground, really just poor placement on our part. For that and year. I don't want to have back whales because humpback whales. No, no humpback whales. Okay. Uh, yeah, super weird talking to the camera. I said I wasn't gonna do this. Mm, I don't still know. might not. Wait, we'll see what. They see you at home. Yeah, when we get home, we get it in the on the video editor. We'll yeah. see if this stays or not. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about the camera. If it stays, know. it's because of the cuteness of that one. It's just what I thought. Put it in there and you kind of swish it around. Right, let's put it right here. These are called soil blocks. Soil blocks. Soil blocks. It's actually a little bit too wet. Too bad. But, fix that. You guys good? What you got, man? I want to talk to the camera. Singing mood. No, I say yeah, yeah, you. All right, and with onions, Always. you don't have to plant them one at a time. You can actually, you can actually plant, I don't know, four to five per block, and then you just space them apart farther. Because what they'll do is when they get in the ground, they'll start to push each other around, and they'll they'll give themselves room. So as long as they've got room between the sets, you can do multiple seeds per set. And we'll see these as these grow up. Put a little bit of grass in here. Um, they've got about 10 weeks of heat matting under the lights with for them. So we'll start them early in the winter. Now let's talk about the next thing. Let's talk about the next thing. Okay. Next, we like to use this. Oh, my face isn't in there. I'm too tall. We like to do this. Having seeds sprout through it, uh, sometimes we let this soil, 
especially when we're not using seed starting mix. We have a hard time. But you know, just things get caught up in the mud. And just a light dusting of this just to cover this seeds. Might be unnecessary. It doesn't, that just kind of wets it, not too much. I don't want too much humidity and condensation. Cover that up. Got that done. I really don't enjoy talking to the camera. Uh, seeds. Voila. Seeds turning rack. We got them on these, uh, these warmers. You can see in there. You probably can't see that. Um, and then we've got these tops on. The heat in, the greenhouse effect, you know. We've got these under here. Um, let's see. And it's just ambient temperature. Uh, makes it a little warmer. But the seeds germinate. So these are just the tiniest little seedlings. We're about to put them in light, actually. It's good to see. These are cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, Henry's top, uh, kale, those sorts of things. But yeah, they're about to get in some light. And these are Cali's flowers which have not quite germinated, but let's get these things moved under some light. So we need to put them on the second row. All three rows are at different heights. So this one's in the dark, but that's the tallest. That's because our heat mats are there. Um, we'll keep this one under heat mat. It's got a few that need to germinate and that's why the top's still on it. But otherwise, um, we would have gone down to the bottom one where it was the lowest. Yeah, we'll keep it here for now. This is some uh, cabbages and things we got going. A seatbelt will glow. But once they all sprout, we'll move them down. We'll take that off. All we gotta do is move the, the seat and pad. So here's that heat and pad from earlier. We just gotta move it down since there's still a few more that need to germinate. But otherwise, we can move on. So we'll do this all winter long. Actually, all spring long. But it's good to remember for us, or for our sake, uh, might be good for anybody out there. Who knows, we may get like 10 views on this thing, it should be fine. Since I'm just talking to myself. That's it. Here you go, man.